Okay then, starting with the hot, hot and spicy. Before I do, I'd like to say, because I did promise, uh, Rob Charles, if you're watching, I'll give you a mention. Most of you that are uh, sub to me, whatever, watch my videos, will have heard or maybe subbed already to Rob. Um, he's a YouTube friend from Swansea in South Wales. Does walking videos in South Wales. I live in North Wales, he lives in South Wales. And uh, he shows the coastal areas there, beautiful, absolutely scenic uh, areas he does walks in. And he's an accomplished organist as well. And he plays different organs in chapels and churches around, in and around South Wales. So uh, if you haven't uh, watched his videos and you like walking videos, you like organ music, uh, take a look at his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. You owe me a pint, Rob. Cheers. There's a new, uh, sorry, the ice cream man again. There's a new, um, something new today. Um, uh, busy old day. Been uh, as you will, well, if you've watched it yet. Um, just gone up now as a, a video. Um, Lake Vernwy, um, beautiful place. Did a bit of a canoeing and stuff like that. Anyway. Hot and spicy. What are we having? This lot. Now them, tortillas. And what I've done is I bought a Mediterranean style pork sizzlers, which are like steaks, marinated, not hot, as in spicy hot. And I pan fried them. Then I've uh, chopped some of my homegrown uh, habanero, habanero chilies, two of them, seeds and all, pan fried the pork, turned it over, added the chilli uh, as to not overcook it and not lose too much heat and then I've got a tortilla wrap, placed some iceberg lettuce which I've sliced into strips at the base, I've sliced the pork um, into strips layering the chilies on top and then after I put I put four of these tortillas out four lots of lettuce on them then proceed to put the strips and the chili on each one and some meatless hot sauce and uh, this is the result a little trick is the old uh, toothpicks to hold them together drink what are we having any guesses you guessed it. Good old Heineken. Ha <laughs> ha! Eh? You thought <laughs> you thought it was going to be old Carlin. I've got Carlin downstairs. Look how cold that is, that you can tell. Straight out the fridge. Beautiful. I'm going to open it up with this old vintage Tetley's Bitter bottle opener. And here we go. I've not had Heineken for a long, long time. It's um, five percent. You can see that. So um, ice cold, and that'll do me. It's quite warm today. That's quite nice, huh? Oh, I told a seagull a joke earlier, laughing. Mrs H bought me some bread she spotted in Aldi's. Um, Anglesey water, smoked something. Um, so, I don't know if it's crispy, but. Mmm. Look at that, isn't it? Um, some smoked cheddar or some cheese. Mmm, that is nice. Wow. Good taste, Mrs H. Yeah, never mind that. Let's try one of these. So here we go. Take this out now. And then um, pork. These could be hot. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. 
my chilies here. First time I tried them. Excited. They're about that long now. Beautiful things. Mm. Mm. Am I getting any heat? But oh yeah. Oh, oh. Beautiful, hang on. She's kicking in. You having a good weekend? So far? Wow. Mm. Highly recommend doing that. It's only the pork from Sainsbury's. Little steaks you can get. And I'm a bit cheeky sometimes. Buy them when they're on offer. I hope this lighting's alright. Only thin pork, so you mustn't do it, overdo it. Pan fry it for about um, eight minutes, four minutes each side, medium heat, and there. Uh, I thought it might have been a bit too hot with a chilli, seeds in as well, and the sauce, because it is quite a kick on the sauce. But to me, that's a tingling. A heat tingle in my mouth all the time. Beautiful. Not no loss of taste, so I can still taste everything. Mm. Mm. Try another one of these breads. Quite nice. That is nice. Mm. Today, um, Saturday, this is the second meal I've had today. The first being in that previous video, which I cooked. Not enough time, is it? Off out this morning. So that meal was my breakfast. If you've watched that video, that meal yet was my breakfast and dinner together. Brunch, as I call it. Mm. And then I don't eat nothing because I'm having these. Absolutely beautiful. It takes about uh, an hour and 20 minutes to get to Lake Vernery from here. Um, I go through Ruthin onto Bala. Just, just as you get into Bala, you turn left. That is a beautiful run, then. As long as you don't meet nothing. Thin roads going up right up a steep valley through some beautiful pine woods oh fantastic we're so lucky in Wales and we do appreciate it well I do <laughs> I'll tell you what it annoys me though I pulled over for a chap in a um, Mercedes estate or something narrow lanes is something you do so I pulled over he comes along and he has to stop something so we can pass his windows down and anyway, I waved didn't didn't wave and then as he was coming by the glass I said uh, thanks very much well it was me that pulled in didn't matter a word just drove off I thought you're not local Because you wouldn't do that, round here. 
I don't know, it annoys me. And if Mrs. H hadn't been with me, I would have said a few other things. <laughs> Bad manners. No need, is it? No need. This is a very nice Heineken. I think it goes colder, better, or stays cold in glass. Absolutely beautiful. They're going on now on TV. Notice the clip. Oh, there's tons and tons of plastic in the seas, and oh, we need to stop it. And we never started it. The people never started it. We never said, hey, we want you to invent plastic and wrap everything in it. Because when we were small, you had bottles of pop, Corona or something like that. And we used to get 10 pence per bottle back if you took the empties back. My mother used to take her own wicker basket shopping. There was no carrier bags until they came in later on. Uh, and people had these, like, well, the older ladies had these two-wheel uh, trolleys or whatever you call them, shopping trolleys put the shopping in there so you know these governments they it's all about money and saving this and cheap and and companies and then when it kicks them back in the face as in tons of it in the sea doesn't it's not biodegradable they come back and ask them oh we'll have to all stick to all that well you brought it in Mad, isn't it? Now these are a great success. Highly recommend if you get pork steaks, if you like this sort of thing. But a lettuce. Uh, I should have put some of my own tomatoes in actually. Just see there, I don't know if you can tell or whatever. There's a chilli in the back there, see? Pork, lettuce, chilli. And that's a meatless sauce. And it's beautiful, just a tingle in the mouth of heat. Mm. Mm. Something like this is fantastic if you've come in from the pub and you're starving. Mm. Or if you you know if you're hungry, it's quick and um, very easy to make, quick. Very nice indeed. So a new idea. And uh, new bread, that's lovely that. And this is 12 minutes in the oven. And I stuck to it. It seems okay. Nice change. What else is that? Roast beef tomorrow. With um, beef fat. Beef tallow. Um, suet. We used to cut it in the butchers, cut it sliced, and then you'd wrap it on the beef and tie it. Some of that on, which will aid to the taste and the cooking and the that sort of stuff, melting. Um, with mashed potatoes, carrots, peas or beans, and um, lascentos of gravy. And I was saying in uh, the other video I did. Which one was that? Anyway. Oh, the shave, yeah. You, um, what I do is when there's beef left, I have a beef sandwich or, a, you know, something with lettuce. Or I go to lettuce and tomato. I might have a beef lettuce and tomato sandwich tomorrow night. And I'll add some either horseradish or mustard. I like both. Um, and beef, lovely. But at the moment we're having this, so that's what we're having tomorrow. And, uh, bit more of a restful day tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, a little thing I bought. When I'm filming with a GoPro, um, this is a adapter goes on a tripod and then your GoPro goes on top so you can attach your GoPro on a tripod but in my case today I bought this thing the other day solid metal 
you can twist it every way but loose and there's a clamp and uh, you can clamp it onto a you know onto a I don't know, a door handle, a railings, a tree branch, um, a car, whatever, steering, <laughs> whatever. But today I clamped it to the boat, to the canoe. And I think it worked quite well. It cost me, was it, £13. It's metal, quite heavy. But, um, as you can see, there's a ball joint there and there's one there. So you can twist it, this twists and back and forth, anything. And it worked well, and it was always handy. Anyway, where are you going now? Mm. Yeah, so it's in comp here. This is a massive success. 20 tank, look at that, take a bike, go on. Anyway, oh, chilly. Oh, lovely. So these chilies are not hot. Habanero, jalapeno, jalapeno. That's not that I can't remember. What the hell are they called? Habanero, jalapeno. Mm. So they're not hot. Well, for me, they're a medium. Tingler, what I call a tingler. Beautiful, absolutely amazing. So I'm glad I've added the sauce as well, that's got a kick to it. So, mm. if I change anything, I'd add two more, I'd add four chilies and leave the sauce on. Or maybe if you're daring, add the sauce as well. Thanks for watching. Another hot and spicy. Hope you're having a great weekend. And um, yeah, thanks for watching these videos. Much appreciated. And uh, love making them. Especially when they involve food and beer. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.